Okay, this says the discovery that I bought from Alan. As you can see, it's got a few problems. There's one, it looks like the back door's been opened with a crowbar. Another one is, and this is a MOT failure. I believe it's an MOT failure, as you can see. Put my finger right through that. See the tyre underneath. You probably can't on the video, but you certainly can in uh, in daylight. Unlocked. Front door doesn't open. Around the other side. Rear passenger door won't open. Obviously the front door does. This seat, I don't know if this is MOT failure or not, but it's downright uncomfortable to drive in. It's absolutely had it. It's just, well I don't know if you can see in there or not, but it's absolutely just had it completely. A few of the little cosmetics, I'm not bothered about cosmetics. What I want is a roadworthy car, which I thought I was gonna get. Okay, now I can open these doors from the inside. If you uh, if you hold this and pull that, you can actually open the doors. And uh, obviously, look at what that reveals when you do. Another hole in the wheel arch, which isn't very good. Pretty poor down there as well. I don't know if that's an MOT failure or not, but it's uh, not very good. These tyres, I don't know if you can see them very well to be honest. There you go. Uh, fairly good tread depth on that one. Happy with that one. That one's bald. Nope. You can see right in the centre, there's virtually no tread there at all. I would say, I don't know, about a millimetre if that. That one's not too bad, although in the center it's uh, very worn away. Around the other side. This front one, very, very thin. Very, very thin there. And on the inside as well, you probably can't see it, but just down there you may be able to see as the light adjusts, it's very, very thin there. Not sure if those are MOT failures, but the one at the back certainly is. Right, under the bonnet. Okay, next. here we are. The engine's actually very sweet. It seems to run very nicely. Uh, looks like it's had a few parts changed on it, although there's something sort of missing from there. And on the top of here, I don't know if that's uh, supposed to be like that or not. But uh, anyway, there's no cowl on the top of that. But more distressing for me is this piece of bodywork here you can actually see the tire underneath if I put my hand under there you can see it coming up through through that hole I don't know if this is uh, structural or not I noticed that the turret is there for the suspension so that's probably completely uh, separate well it certainly looks completely separate whether that's structural or not I don't know um, but it doesn't look very good to me On the other side, it's not uh, not too bad, so I should imagine that uh, that it's not supposed to be like that over there, but it certainly is. Okay, clarification on that uh, wiper situation. That's the button for the wiper squirt, which obviously works, and that's the button for the rear wiper, which clearly I know doesn't. I know I'm being picky now, but um, the uh, rear side um, window squirter is blocked okay final and frankly probably one of the most annoying parts um, is that last night in the dark I didn't realize uh, something about the tax now um, I was told by Alan that um, the tax uh, ran out at the end of uh, February which this uh, this tax disc clearly does 
but this is the tax disc for this car it runs out at the end of January now if you uh, look there you can clearly see the registration number of this vehicle N669 VAC um, and the reg number on this tax disc which was also stuck to the window is R276 uh, something else RAG or NAG or something like that which is obviously not this car so you know I was uh, I was led to believe this was going to be taxed and when I drove it back last night I believed it was when I drove it back from Wakefield and now I'm finding out that I've just driven my car illegally if I'd have had a prang uh, of any sort I wouldn't have been insured and that would have been a very difficult situation indeed